welcome back to speed painting orcs here we have the next step in our orc speed painting and so we have finished touch-ups on this guy again we're going through painting the white primed guy with the uh, uh, army painter white and our next color is hardened leather so we're going to hit those leather straps that we've been touching up a uh, quick look at those leather straps Got it pretty well touched up there. Got to redo the green on the side of it, but I'm going to get that hardened leather color on. And I'm going to do it on camera, and we're going to just kind of paint along together. You're welcome to hang out, fast forward, rewind, whatever. I do have a couple of uh, good things, I hope, uh, that will be interesting to say. A little bit of some disappointing news uh, about some speed paint uh, supply chain stuff, but... Other than that, I feel free to skip around. Uh, so for this, we're going a little bit finer, and so I have this Army Painter starter brush. Got a little bit of speed paint on there. And I'm going to try to keep this on the camera while I can still look around the camera to put this color onto the model. And so here we go. Here's our hardened leather. I need a little bit more on the brush. Because the hard thing with speed paint is... You know, you usually don't want a lot of paint on your brush, but with speed paint, you do need to have kind of like maybe a little extra on your brush. You don't want it to run all over, but you do want it to be able to do its, you know, contrast. It's the highlights, the lowlights, the all, you know, everything in between. So it's going to be an all-in-one uh, kind of thing. You need enough on your brush to do that with for sure. So... Let's just kind of see how we can... So there's that leather strap. Something I am noticing, and this is probably a me thing, but as I'm painting these guys, there's definitely some white on the border between colors. It's like you see here between like the shirt and the arm. I've got a couple of things of white. I'm going to have to go back and touch those up. I think if you get really good at speed paint, you'll be able to do that better. I think you will. There you can kind of see where the strap is still showing through a little bit of that oops color underneath. But we've got to get this leather brown on there before we can retouch up the, the blue. And then I think that will help a lot. Actually really liking this leather brown. I wasn't quite sure, you know, based on the, you know, the swatches and things that you can see how it would actually look. It's definitely what I would call a light brown on the... Um, as far as like contrast and similar things go, uh, but not uh, not saying that in a bad way. It's definitely a lighter brown, but not saying that in the bad way. It's it's dark enough. It's not too light. It's not. There's some weird kind of light browns that I've um, used in the uh, contrast line, but I don't think they were designed to be you know kind of like orc leather. So this is a good color. I like this color. It's going on. It's going on fine. Very similar to that orange on these pants. You'll see how that dries. We'll see um, if it's too close to the orange. That's something I always like to kind of see as I'm painting. Am I too close to some of the other colors that I'm using or not? Is this unique enough to, you know, to use? Though, blending in a little bit here to get these guys out on the table. All right, let's get gaming. Not too sad about that if it's kind of blending in and just kind of hanging out there. All right, so I said I have some disappointing news. I don't know if this applies to your region, my region, where. So I am in the U.S., Midwest, and I talked to my local game store today because the rest of the speed paints and then the Army Painter um, airbrush paints uh, released officially on Saturday the 26th and so that was not all too long before I filmed this video just a couple days so I hope you're not seeing this too late compared to that date but I did talk to my game store and they said with all of the supply issues and all that kind of stuff that's been happening they said they are not going to see the airbrush singles 
for the the new contrast singles. And I believe they also said the, the larger contrast starter set that has all the paints in it. They said they were not going to see any of those products until mid-April. That was what they told me. They said mid-April. So, didn't say a definitive date. You know, they didn't say like the 15th or the 17th. You know, they didn't say anything like that. They said mid-April. I'm sure that's what... Um, their distributor is telling them, uh, you know, I think the, um, arm, those from the Army Painter come from, um, what is it, PhD Games. I'm sure that's, you know, what they're telling their stores. And so, now we don't have a definitive date on when those will actually uh, be here. They're released, it's now just a matter of stores actually getting them. Did I splooch on his blue, or is that... Oh, no, that's actually a dried... It's a little, that dried kind of dark on that blue. I didn't notice that till now. I don't think I just poked it, but maybe I did. All right, whatever. We can touch it if we need to. Still got some white hanging out around here. Gonna see if I can do this a little better with this nice, fine-tipped brush. And then I gotta decide what to do with this guy's hat. So anyway, so the other speed paints that I have coming. I have a couple of single colors that I'm uh, getting to test, especially the speed paint medium and the uh, white. And I'm going to use those to do a very serious reactivation test. Uh, what this news means is, unfortunately, I am not going to be able to do that reactivation test for another couple weeks. And so we're just going to keep painting orcs. I mean, what else do you do, right? When bad things happen, you just paint orcs. I think I am going to use the the brown on his little, like, hat, like, fur. Got, like, kind of this almost, like, fur tuft or, I don't know, a bird's nest or whatever. <laughs> whatever, I've seen some people do some pretty creative things, but I'm going to, on his helmet here, I'm going to paint it in with this brown color. So, and then I'll paint the rest of his helmet in the contrast gray. So I'm thinking between the different colors where we're kind of getting that white line, I might try to do, let's see, I'm bleeding a little bit onto the sides of his helmet there. I might try to do uh, on those white line areas some, I don't know, like a dark color between the two colors, just kind of line in a little bit of black, almost like a cell shading kind of thing. I have to say the cell shading aesthetic, not really my thing, but that technique has like a, you know, a little bit of a, a fix for this, maybe. Might work. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so he's got like a little little brown little brown tuft on him. Alright, what else? So he's, his belt buckle's gonna be um, not brown. Those pieces on his back are other colors. But what I'm gonna do is I think the straps kind of Go in behind this little buckle here. I'm just going to kind of put some contrast down into there. Let that kind of settle into that. And I can paint in the recess. I mean, that's a little bit of a let's get gaming tip, right? That looks just fine. I don't have to worry about the metal color or whatever. So I'll do metal on his helmet and stuff. Um, on his weapon here, he's got this kind of... Uh, some of them have this kind of wrap on the front. He doesn't have one. I think the this guy does the... Got that kind of like the you know, something wrapped on it. I'd probably do in this brown. I'll do his whole gun in the contrast gray, and uh, yeah, we'll keep going on him. You know, you know what we'll do while we're at it. His teeth have been touched up. Let's get out some of that bone color real quick uh, and put it on. Well, maybe I want to do one more touch up. Teasing you there, not intentionally. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do one more cover of white over those teeth just because uh don't want to don't want to do it too prematurely all right so there you go there's the orc with the brown on him so we're getting the brown on next color these guys are getting closer every day so i hope this has uh, been fun nice hanging out with you thanks for watching take care